Um, welcome to the new Committee on Education and Policy. Uh, it's great to have you all back here in person, and I think this is going to be a very short and sweet meeting for our first one this, this year. So uh, we'll take up the following items for approval. Item 1A is the approval of the minutes of the June 7th, 2022 meeting. I move the approval of item 1A. Do I have a second? Second. second. Any discussion? Hearing none? All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's All right. opposed? Any <laughs> abstentions? The item passes. We'll now address items of the po on the policy calendar. Policy item 1B1 is a resolution to award, and I, pr I apologize in advance if I mispronounce this name, Asali Angel Ajani with early tenure at the City College of New York with an application of bylaw 6.2C2. I now call on Executive Vice Chancellor and University Provost Wendy Hansel to provide further background on this item. Wendy? Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Asali Angel Ajani has served as an assistant professor in the Department of Anthropology, Gender Studies, and International Studies at the City College of New York since 2017. She's considered highly prized by the entire academic community of City College and is recognized as a leading public-facing thinker and transformative scholar with an impressive publication record that includes the award-winning book, Strange Trade, the story of two women who risked everything in the international drug trade, a co-edited and a, and a co volume, Engaged Observer, which is arguably the leading volume on activist anthropology. Her service is an exemplar model of CCNY's tradition of supporting, mentoring, and teaching a talented and diverse student population. In short, she is an asset to City College. Do we have any questions? I mean, I will, I will, you know, basically I will move this for approval, but do we have any questions, comments? Seems pretty straightforward. She seems very well deserving. Uh, so I guess we will uh, ask for, a, I'll move the uh, item and then I will ask for a second. Second. No discussion. We already found that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Any abstentions? The item passes. Policy item 1B3 is a resolution requesting approval of the actions in the curriculum and academic, did I miss one? I did, sorry. Policy item 1B2 is a resolution to approve of the faculty personnel matters report of the Education Policy Committee. And I'll now ask uh, Vice Chancellor Hensel to provide further background on this item. The information contained in the report includes appointments and reappointments with tenure and fellowship leaves that were previously reported to the Committee for Faculty, Staff, and Administration. Faculty are evaluated and reappointed on a systematic basis through a highly rigorous process involving local governance as well as approval of the institution's chief academic officer and president with the goal of awarding tenure to retain superior faculty. Fellowship leave is granted to faculty to conduct research, improving their teaching, or productive creative work as part of the nationally recognized responsibilities of the professoriate. The October 2022 Faculty Personnel Matters Report of the Education Policy Committee was generated in summary format from faculty data entered by the campuses into CUNY First, the university's system of record, between June 28, 2022 and August 26, 2022. Okay, I will move the approval of policy item 1B2. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? I always look to the faculty members over here. No, you're fine? Okay. So, <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Any abstentions? That item passes. Policy item 1B3 is a resolution requesting approval of the actions in the curriculum and academic policy dashboard. Again, I'll call on Provost Hensel to provide further background on this Thank item. You. Routine academic matters, local academic policies, and course inclusions in the university's general education program are presented to the Committee on Education Policy in summary form via an online dashboard. The new curriculum and academic policy dashboard makes it possible for CUNY trustees to, inter to interact with this summary data. Using the new dashboard format, trustees are now able to explore graphic representations and charts of the academic activity from the previous month and over time using various tools and fillers. filters. We are confident that trustees will find this a valuable tool to employ in learning more about CUNY's most current academic activity. A few highlights from this month's dashboard include 
the classification of 21 new general education courses among colleges, giving students more options to study the physical sciences, mathematics, and the humanities, 67 program actions, and three new or revised undergraduate policies. Thank you. So I will move the approval of policy item 1B3. Do I have a second? Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, we will vote. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? That item passes. With no more items on the policy calendar, I now turn to the information item on the calendar. As you know, today is the first meeting under our new committee structure. As part of the restructuring work, each committee will operate under a new committee charter to be, discussed, to be discussed by each committee, then approved by the governance committee, and then sent to the full board for approval. Our agenda included this draft as an information item for discussion. Are there any questions or comments? Charter at this point? Yes, John. Um, I have one question about the voting procedures. It's changed from how it was before, where it was a majority of eligible voters, to now it's a majority of voters in the room. Um, that's a deliberate choice. It's in all. You no, know, actually, this is what's in the what, what is actually published in our manual of general policy. This is not changed. Okay. So it's always been this way. It just it's worked out the same way. Okay. Not a problem. I went back and looked at that about 12 times, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Other questions? Uh, may I? Sure. I, I was just wondering if uh, for the rationale for the change, uh, is, is it... Uh, I'm going to have Gail... The rationale for the change, change of, in yes. the chart, to have a yes. charter or the change? So the Board of Trustees, through the Governance Committee, actually made a decision that the board committees needed to be restructured and updated. They hadn't been looked at in many, many years. This started back originally with the audit committee being added in 2017. And then in 2021, I get my years mixed up, the governance committee was established by the board and that committee spent the year looking at the notion of restructuring the committees. And so this is the process of establishing those committees. That happened at the board meeting in June. And so we, uh, through the governance committee, the board of trustees is going to be updating the way that it operates and looking at itself. And, and it is a best practice to have committee charters for each committee. And we, that was something that never existed before. So the board as a governance matter and as a governing board is really trying to do um, to, to act in, in, in accordance with what are really best practices for colleges and universities across the country. Thank you. No problem. Any other questions? Okay. So with no more items on the agenda, I move to adjourn this meeting. Do I have a second? Somebody's got a second. Okay. All in favor? Thank you. Sorry for such a short agenda and getting you all here, but... Sometimes it happens that way. <laughs> there are more meetings, yes. <laughs> what? Well, yes, I mean, sometimes I feel, you know, you gather everybody here, and it's over and done with, and, uh, you know. <laughs> that's right, that's happening. Definitely shorter than my commute to get here. <laughs>